Welcome to the tutorial on evaluating web resources. When you're conducting research, it is wise to use the scholarly resources offered through the library's website. These are primarily provided through the link Databases by Subject. Many other authoritative resources are found via the library's catalog info links. Your assignments may involve requirements for using specific types of sources. However, if you are given the green light to use free internet resources accessible through Google or other search engines, it is vital to know which web resources are authoritative and which ones are not. This video will present questions to ask yourself when considering whether or not a website is a credible resource. First, does the site offer substantial, informative content that matches its stated or implicit purpose? Second, is the information relevant to your research topic? Is the information provided up to date? Check to see when the site was last updated. This information should be provided, and when it is, it is often at the bottom, sometimes listed with a copyright date. Is it clear who wrote the information? What are the credentials of the author or authors? Does the author speak from a position of authority? In this case, an official state agency website lists this author as an entomologist from the University of Minnesota. Here is an example of a site you should approach with caution. The site mentions the author and organization, but does not list the credentials of the author or information about the organization. Now examine the content of the website. Does it seem skewed? Be attentive to perspectives that do not seem objective. This one, for example, advocates that pets not be vaccinated, but it obviously has an agenda without presenting scholarly support. It does not point out, for example, that vaccination has both risks and benefits. It would be far better to consult a respected and objective medical or veterinary website to find facts on this subject. Overall, beware of websites that are entitled The Truth About, because that is almost a sure sign of an agenda-ridden site. A word about Wikipedia. Most instructors will not accept Wikipedia entries as authoritative because this resource lacks systematic and rigorous oversight. Some information might be valid and even helpful, especially some references and related links, but the reader is never certain if this is the case. Beware of sites with commercial advertisements, a potential indication of bias, although this may not be true in every case. Some websites rely on outside support to sustain themselves. Another question to ask yourself, does the website look professional, or rather, is there an amateurish feel about the site? Think twice if there are lots of distractions, such as moving images, animations, and pop-ups. These qualities may indicate that the core information is not authoritative. Usually more reliable sites are those with URLs ending in gov, a government site, or edu, an educational site, or sometimes org, often nonprofit organizations. This has been a presentation on evaluating web resources. If you have any questions, please contact us in person, through chat, by phone, or through email.